this is Stumpy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on King's Quest. Uh, this is the uh, the first episode of chapter number three, uh, which is called Once Upon a Climb. Uh, <laughs> it's always good to know that the, the episode's going to be filled with puns when the title is, of course, a pun, as they, uh, they all have been so far. So, um, it looks like we're kind, of, we're kind of back in time a little bit. It looks like we're kind of back to when we first arrived in Daventry, by the looks of things. And is that... Wait a minute, that's not like a... That's not one of the goblins, is it? Is that a goblin? I don't... Why, why is it letting me look at this... <laughs> this rock? Why, why would why would it bother to show it to me? Hmm. Oh, there's another one here as well. Okay, let's uh, let's keep looking at these and see if, uh, if anything happens. Uh, is this another one here? This is a, a peculiar start to the game, isn't it? Staring at rocks in the forest. <laughs> I inherited a flawed but charming kingdom, and I worked tirelessly to restore the land to its former glory. Okay, so what's basically been going on is it's been basically kind of saying the uh, the story of what's been happening so far. Better over there. Okay. I'm not, is this like a dream or something? Like... I'm not entirely oh, sure what's going on, really, um, <laughs> or why I'm doing any of this. So, it basically, there's a little bit before the episode started where it was saying about me arriving. Uh, sadly, I didn't capture that bit, but um, I don't know what. Okay, so it looks like I can make these these fawns grow up here. I don't know if this is going to affect anything or what's going on, but oh uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess we're all going to to find out uh, together. In a few short years, I had grown into the king I'd always wanted to be. And while I was proud of the Daventry I had shaped, something still felt like it was missing. Ah, so we look different. What happened to the uh what happened to the really goofy looking like, you know, early 20-year-old? You know, I've I've grown into a man now. Like a like a proper man. Like a grown-up man. And ah! Okay, because because I guess in the past I let those fawns grow here. I guess they're now blocking the path. So, do you reckon I can go back and move it? Okay, I see what's going on here. We're traveling through time. Look, so if I move this over to the uh, the right, my guess is now that the uh, the fawns uh, are going to, to have moved. So, can I move it all the way? Because it looks like there's a tree there. Well, let's go back now and let's see if those fawns have moved. So it's basically showing that kind of how something I changed a long time ago has affected what's going on now. And oh, okay, it's just completely been uh, removed now. And there's a little family of owls. And one has a, had glasses and a waistcoat on. Oh, no. It stole it. Oh, no. Wait. No. There is absolutely no way that could be right. There's no way that could have happened. I was too invested in that owl. I must have missed a detail in the story. What's what's going on? What's going on? I, I am as clueless as you are as to what's going on right about now. What's what's the deal with the owls? Oh, was that? I think that might have been their toy. I think that might have been their toy owl. Okay. Uh, looks like I've got a shovel. A very classic uh, adventure game item to to have. No. I didn't abandon that owl family. I found a way to save their son. Oh, okay. So, so it is their son then. Um, right then, let's go and try and find their son. Then. So I think it's going to be... Well, let's let's go back to, to the beginning of time. Because we saw those rocks. And they haven't been used for anything yet. So uh, my guess is uh, I need to, to do something with the, the rocks. Has anything changed back here? Uh, I, I, I forgot one small detail. I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape on my back, an appetite for adventures, and a small shovel in my pocket. <laughs> so that's basically what happened at the, the very beginning. Apart from I now have a, uh, a shovel uh, as well, apparently. All right, can I, can I dig up these rocks then? Buried in the soil was a tiny, spiniferous thorn seed. Ah, okay, so I can grow fawns now. Is there anything underneath mm. this one? No treasure there. Nope, no treasure there. Uh, what about underneath here? Is there anything here I can dig up? A tiny acorn had been planted in the dirt. Okay, so I can now choose to plant either a, a fawn plant, 
uh, or uh, or an oak tree, uh, I guess. Um, but where? What, what's going? On? What's the deal with the owl? So where 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 did the squirrel thingy take the the owl then? And how how is how am I going to be able to to work this out? Oh. Okay, the owl's there now. Oh no, it's going to come again. Evil little squirrel. Oh no, don't do that. Well, I think I was supposed to. Was I supposed to have stopped Something's it somehow? Still missing in this bird brain equation. Owl, try again. Owl, try again. Amazing. <laughs> right. So, do you think? Do you think I? Do you, well, do you think I'm supposed to grow? Because I could grow a a tree underneath them, which might make their nest in a tree. But squirrels can climb trees, so <laughs> I don't quite know how helpful that's going to be. It doesn't seem like I can plant anything there. I can move this along, which I think helps the fawns grow. I'm not entirely sure. Like, my guess is okay. maybe I need to... Apologies. One last time. I began my knighthood in Daventry with nothing to my name except a feather in my cap, a cape on my back, an appetite for adventures, a small shovel, one mini acorn, and the seed of a spiniferous thornweed. <laughs> okay, so I had all of that stuff. Right then, so... I'm assuming if I dig, I won't mm. find anything else here. No. no so I guess I can kind of choose where to plant things. So what about if I say to plant the acorn I here? I miniature acorn in the ground. A way to commemorate new beginnings. So then the tree could grow there. Then maybe the owls will be in that tree. And then what if I grow the fawn here? Like a great spot will that, will that a block them? thorn weed plant to thrive. So, so, because the fawns planted there, I need to make sure that the um, the the things that the fawns can grow on is in the middle over here. So there we go. There's the oak tree starting to grow. There's the fawns there. So hopefully the owls are going to be in the tree and not on the ground, which uh, you wouldn't expect to find them in anyway. And so uh, there we go. I think I did it. See, I blocked the squirrel in the fawns, and then the owls are in the tree. <laughs> I worked it out. The family of chirpy owls brought a smile to my face. But anguish to my heart. My kingdom was thriving, but I was alone. Who was I building this Daventry for? <laughs> why, why, why has one of the owls got glasses and a little waistcoat? <laughs> oh, I love this game. Like, I've been so excited to play the new chapters. It's always so horrible waiting for the, the next one. And, like, every game I play on my channel, I enjoy. Like, I, I don't play any games I don't enjoy. But I don't know, King's Quest especially is just such a, a wondrous world to jump into and it's just so funny and I, I love the puzzles. Like, I'm always just uh, so looking forward to a, a new chapter. And uh, judging by a lot of the comments, a lot of you uh, feel the same. Totally offset by the company of my hungry, rumbling tummy. I headed back to the castle for a bite to eat. Okay, that was a... How is that a unique opening to the, the game? I guess that was cool. I love puzzles like that. And whoa, a bite to eat. A big bite to eat by the looks of things. <laughs> Look how much food there is there. It's good to be king, I guess. <laughs> I do seem lonely, though. What good is though. all this food with no one to share it with? Oh, how rude of me. Here you go. Sire. Daventry Decree 74311. I know, I know. No animals are allowed at the table. Uh, did the Hobblepots ever respond to my invitation for dinner? No response. I haven't seen them in a while, actually. Sorry. You're right. Perhaps the guards would accept an invite for dinner. Oh, uh, Graham, we'd love to. We'd love to, but... Yeah, yeah, decree 9-11 to the 23rd power. Afraid so, sire. As you were. Oh, before I forget, Larry. You know I restored the budget for your own personal steed, right? Oh, right. Uh, my own personal steed. Uh, thank you. Well, I suppose I could use the surplus on masking the odor of number two. What? No, I mean Royal Guard number two. What? He smells like syrup. It's intolerable, really. It's gotten so bad my helmet fogs up. You get used to it. You're absolutely right. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Why didn't I think of that? What? So we're, we're going to build a dinner guest out of the food. So basically, it seems like everything's good. Everything's right. I'm the king. By the sounds of things, I'm a good king. And Daventry's doing well. 
but I'm just a bit lonely. And so no, no one's coming to dinner with me. And so I think I'm going to build a guest out of the food, apparently. Um, sure. Let's, uh, let's give this a go. And so are these, are these people that I invited? Ah, so these are kind of uh, the, the friends, people that I, I've met uh, throughout the, uh, the last few episodes. And I guess that I invited them, uh, them all here. Uh, but... Well, the looks of things they uh, they haven't joined me. Uh, but am I am I gonna make a, a dinner guest out of the food then? How do I how do I do that? Ah, okay. Looks like I have control, so I can grab. Okay, I'm just grabbing everything. I'm gonna take this. Uh, can I grab anything else here? I don't think I can. But can I grab anything else along here? Um. Okay, there's an- Oh, am I gonna build it You're there? Absolutely right. We should create a dinner guest out of all this extra food. Why didn't I think of that? You did, and you just said it. So, how am I going to... So, I guess the hack is going to be the... The, the napkin, sorry, is going to be the hat. Um... Round peg? Squ You're not fooling me. That's not where that... Now's not the time. That didn't fit there. That didn't... Now's not round peg. Okay, so it looks like I can't use any of that. So, is there anything else I can grab? Any more of the... Like, let me take some of the food. Um, but nothing... It won't let me take anything else around it. Can I, like, pan up at all? No, there's a bowl here. Um, can I put things in that bowl? <laughs> ah. Oh, I think I think I'm just feeding my feeding my friend. Nope. No, no, no not interested in that. Right. Let's uh, let's go and take the uh, the peas back, and let's go and put some of the uh, the meat in there. Maybe. Um, if I go and put that inside there, is that is that good enough for you? Is that a nod? That's a whoa. Down in one. Looks like I wasn't the only one that was hungry. <laughs> Apologies. I'm allergic to the lavender. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to get more peas. I'm not entirely sure. I'll be honest. I've spent, you know, the first 10 minutes of this pretty confused overall. So it says that I need to build a dinner guest out of this food. But it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to be letting me pick. Okay, so I can pick up this again. And I can pick up the peas again. But they seem to be the, the only food that I can pick up. Time's old. Um. Okay, they're going back. Oh. They're going back to stand here. Oh. oh what are they doing? Oh, they're doing a little dance. Ah, is this person blocking something? Well, would you care to join me for dinner? Dinner sounds lovely. But I'm only allowed to leave my post in times of distress. Or if that plate of peas needs to be replenished. Oh, oh I think they went too strong on the lavender again. I can smell the spices from here. Okay, so this person gets off here from this area when they're replenishing the peas. So I think I need to try and get rid of them somehow. But what? Why? Why am I trying to get rid of this person? What's so important about that rug? They're also allergic to lavender, and I have no idea what that that means to do with anything. But let, <laughs> let's try. Let's put this back down. I know you don't want the peas. It's fine. But don't worry. I'm going to put the meat on top as well. I think that they're already going to eat it. Uh, if the uh, the meat's there as well. Uh, so let's go and put the meat down as well. They're going to go refill the peas, and while they're doing that. Is there... Is there something that I can do over here? Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! I now have the rug. Let's have a look at the rug. Is there anything special about the rug at all? Oh! Oh, do I need this to build my person? I think I might need the rug. This might be the person's clothes. Okay. <laughs> right there. Let's have a look around. Is there anything else around here I could steal to create my... My food friend? It's a little bit sad, isn't it? You know, people say don't play Some with your food, and that's all I have to play next with. To mine, as a hint, I bet it was royal card number two. He was growing old and anxious for Graham kids. Really? You're using your own name in puns now? You're right. That pun was chairless. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, looks like Graham might want a want a queen, or at least guard number two wants uh, wants a queen. Right then, so. I can go, I can go grab this food again. Um, and so I now have a, I now have the blanket. Let's have a look at the, uh, the, the rug. I can't say to do anything with the rug. I can't say to combine any of these things. And I have all of the pictures, uh, as well. So do you think I need to use it on the chair, maybe? You're not fooling me. 
You're not now. Is there anything I can put? Because it looks like I'm. That's where I'm gonna have to put the person. But it looks like I can't put any of the the things I have on the chair down there. Ah, what's this over here? Okay, uh, I think that was some sort of hat rack. Can I put the hat rack down? I can. Okay. It's a good start. What else can we add to her? You're right. She does need a cape. A okay. A hat. What should we use for the face? Um, okay, well, I don't, I'm not sure what the face is going to be. Apart, oh, can I pick out of these pictures what the face is going to be? Maybe. All right, then. Well, let's, let's go and put, so put the rug on now uh, to, to be the, uh, the cloak. Lovely. She's looking beautiful already. What about a hat? And now, yep, yeah, we can go what and add the, uh, the hat. The uh, we can go and add the, uh, the napkin on. There we go. A very fitting hat. What uh, and use? now we need to do something for the uh, for the face. Um, meat. You're not fooling me. Now's peas. Not the, time for that. I, the only thing I can think of is one of these pictures. Let's uh, let's add Chester. Can Chester be the face? <laughs> there we go. Oh, perfect. What should we name her? What should we what? name her? No, uh, that's my sister's name. You know that. What? I'm thinking something that ends in a soft consonant. It was at that exact moment when the magical mirror called out to me. <gasps> Sorry, Chester. The mirror <laughs> showed me a magical reflection of a tower far away in the kingdom of Kaliba. It told me that the princess I would marry was trapped at the very top, waiting for me to rescue her. Wasting no time, I grabbed a beautiful ring from the royal treasury and headed off to save my future wife. Ha! <laughs> looks like my nursemaids are here. Can you excuse me for half an hour? You got it, Grandpa. Looks like some exciting times in the castle. <laughs> Gwendolyn, it's your move. Oh. What's taking them so long? I'm honestly not sure. He's probably just distracting the nursemaids with his jokes. For four hours? Would that really surprise you? No, I guess not. So, are you excited for Grandmother's birthday? I haven't even picked out her present yet. Mother helped me pick out mine. I'm told it's the perfect gift. All right, children. Your grandpa is now ready for you. Uh... Gwendolyn, he asked to see you first. Can we go together? Best not to overwhelm him all at once. Besides, I need God's help with the daily decrees. Is it all right if we finish this after lunch? Go ahead. Wouldn't want to keep him from his favorite. Your grandfather doesn't have favorites, Scott. He loves each of you in his own special way. Now tidy up and meet me in the throne room. I've got three trays of appetizers with your name on them. Own special way. Eh, doesn't matter. Not with addendum 48677 in the books. Bother. Okay, looks like the uh, the story's going to carry on. Come on, there's got to be another one in there. Just one more, one last quest. 
another notch of my feather, a voyage to Neptune's kingdom, or a journey through the infinite desert. Please, Mira, one final adventure. Mm. Grandpa? Ah, just the person I wanted to see. Are you doing all right? I am now. Did they find you the right medicine? Your company is better than any medicine in those vials. Yeah. Now, come, sit. This time, you picked the story. Something with a dragon, perhaps. Actually, could you tell me more about Grandma? Everyone knows she's a great queen, and she's nice and regal and wonderful. But none of that's helping me pick out her birthday present. I want to get her something really special. Of course. I suppose there's no better place to start than at the beginning, when my travels led me to the Enchanted Isles. Okay. Grandpa, Looks like we're in the, the Enchanted Isles. Mom used to tell me this story before bed. Hasn't everyone in Davendry heard this? He climbed that tower, rescued Princess Valenice, fell in love, and lived happily ever after. Well, <laughs> fairy tales have a bad habit of simplifying matters of the heart. They weave tales that love just happens easily and with no effort required. A real story is far more exciting than what you've been led to believe. Okay, this is quite exciting now. We've arrived at somewhere other than Daventry. We've pretty much been in Daventry, uh, Daventry the whole time. Uh, but we're now in uh, in Colmire, Colmire uh, which is in the, the Enchanted Isles. And so it looks like we might have our queen. Uh, well, in fact, I know we do because <laughs> Graeme just said and she's at the, uh, the top of the tower. Uh, so it looks like we need to go and save her. But sadly, uh, we have run out of time uh, in uh, this episode here. And listen to this music, by the way. Oh, of course, as I say that, it ends. It was cool, though. Trust me. <laughs> that is the end of this episode here. There'll be a link in the, end of the description uh, to the next episode as soon as it's uh, online. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.